Um, when we're talking about number sense, you've been talking about number sense since kindergarten, actually, and you'll keep talking about it until eighth grade. Most teachers call this number sense, but I call it manipulating numbers. It's literally pulling out what pieces are in side one number. How many groups of what are in there? How many different ways can you make something? So in order to do today's lesson, you are going to need your timer, a piece of paper to work on, and it doesn't have to be graph paper. It could be scrap paper. It could be the back of an envelope, whiteboard, whatever you got and uh, a pencil or something to write with. So from that very first kindergarten lesson you had, your teacher probably gave you, you know, 10 counting blocks or 10 counting sticks or whatever you had, or it just simply brought you to the carpet and say, how many different ways can you make this number? And some of you raised your hands and says, you can have seven and three, that's right. Or, you know, you could have seven and or six and four, you can have eight and two, you can have five and five. So see what I mean? You've been doing this since kindergarten. Um, but when we're talking about upper grade math here, fifth grade and up, um, we're going to be doing multiple operations. So multiplication and addition and subtraction and exponents, you know, um, parentheses, everything you got. Different ways to make it. So let's start off then with 36. And in fact, 360, the number 360, has more things that can multiply with it than any other number. And that's why I picked 36, because there's a lot of things. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your timer for two minutes. You're going to pause the video and in two minutes, think of every, every way you can think of to make 36. Okay. So pause the video, set the timer for two minutes and do that. All right. What did you come up with? Do you have six times six? That's the most common one kids usually have. But see, if you have six times six, what's inside that six? Inside that six is a group of three and two. So you could also have six times three times two. Now, if you were the kind of person who drew it out, like you're a visual math person, then you might have gone, you might have drawn a group of three and did that twice. And then circle that and then did that three times and then did that group twice but realized that was only half of okay did i already lose you yeah sorry about that maybe you just did nine times four and you looked at nine nine and you went hey i know inside the nine there's three a group of three and there's three groups of three and then there's that group of four left but doing that you can also realize that you can do three 12 different times or you can have you can pull out 12 three times whichever way you want to think about it Okay, so it's kind of like a warm-up, getting us going. We're going to get a little more complicated now. On your paper, or maybe a new sheet of paper, however you're organized, I want you to see how many different ways you can make 37 with multiplying and adding. So pause the video, set the timer for two minutes, and come up with as many ways as you can. All right, what did you come up with? Did you just add one to what you did in the previous work? If you did that, brilliant, that works. Now let's try this number. But I want you to see if you can do only multiplication. How many multiplication problems can you come up with? Pause the video and set the timer for two minutes. And now we're getting trickier. Before we start with 96, so write 96 on your paper, and I want you to think of ways you can multiply, and the goal is three different things to multiply to get 96. But to help you out, I'm gonna let you know that there is a group of 48 in 96. And if there's a group of 48, that means there's also a group of 12. And I know inside of 12, there's a group of six. And inside the six, there's a group of three. So if you wanna start to make 96, using threes or sixes or twelves or forty eights that's fine if you need more time than two minutes that's totally fine but in order to keep the objectives of this uh, lesson going uh, only only shoot for two minutes if you're feeling a little stressed out if you're feeling inspired go ahead and do some more are you ready for something harder because now we're getting bigger numbers can you multiply four things to get 140? Is there a 10 you could pull out? How many 10s can you pull out of 40? If you can pull out a 10, are, are you able to pull out five 10s? And 
and how many quarters would be a hundred and forty cents? Or how many quarters would be a dollar forty? This one gets trickier. So write down hundred and forty on your paper and write a ten and a fifty and a twenty-five next to it. And pause the video and set the timer for two minutes. Now try it with 360. Mic drop, that is the end of this lesson. When I meet with your small group, I'm gonna ask you these questions again. I wanna see the work you did, I wanna see how you did it, I wanna hear you talk about what you did, okay? And that's literally what's gonna be your first group assignment because manipulating numbers and understanding number sense is very important in every single math year from kindergarten to eighth grade and fifth grade and up.